Hi. This is part two of the Hasbro uh, Kenner um, re-release of the Ghostbusters figures, which I am so excited. Um, right, so these are the 86, which I showed in the previous video. Uh, these are the renditions from the originals, which had the date and manufacture stamp on the back just under the uh, proton clip now they are the uh were they like f four and three quarter inches or something like that i can't remember the actual dimensions of these figures um now i've come to realize the ones i've ordered are from um couple of websites which are as follows um <clears throat> let me just find them we have kapow toys uh, which i purchased the action figures which is the set of four and then on the previous video which was the uh slimer and stay puff which was from star action figures so i was given these generously by um a good friend of mine jamie who has an instagram account called toy photography universe uh if you want to go check him out I'll put the link below um it does all things action figure based with photography absolutely fantastic he uses uh some really brilliant dioramas and photographer lighting so please check him out but he dropped me the link to obtain these without this i don't think i would probably have got them as quick as i did um it with a matter of days i ordered them like i said i ordered them on the friday they came the following thursday now without further ado these are the renditions which i am led to believe have some slight uh differences and um variations upon their persons now excuse me whilst i'm doing this but i'm getting the names of the ghosts for simply the reasons being that the versions i have which i come to find out after going on my ghostbusters uh, action figure group on facebook and uh, watching numerous videos on facebook these are for the european market now I haven't heard anything of these to be sold within the European Union, European market. Now, what I do know is that they are being shipped to Canada. Now, these figures alone must be for the Canadian market. Uh, how they have shipped so quickly to the UK is beyond me. Uh, but anywho, without further ado, I'm going to show you these figures. Now, there are, like I said, there's some slight differences to the initial release where they don't contain the ghost's name and uh, the languages, like on the other figures, are multiple rather than a singular text. Um, so, what we are going to proceed here is, I don't know which figure this is, Yes, I have opened the box. I do apologise. Yes, I have opened the box. Yes, in preparation. Look. I've opened the box in preparation for it. Um, I, I don't know what figure this is. But. We have Egon. Right, I can compare. I have a figure I can compare. Oh, and what... Um, was it Jamie? Jamie, who uh, sent me the link, um, commented and said, "There's a in the originals, they didn't have a slip of card, whichever whatever that references to. I don't know. I haven't. I'm not going to open these, so I don't know what this is for. Anyhow, <clears throat> let's jump straight into this. This is Egon. Uh, now Egon uh, has, like I said, with the initial release had." A singular text this has multiple uh, as we can see it says I ain't afraid of no ghost 
Mem Passportes Phantoms. Um, ich habe. Ich, blah, 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 blah. I can't pronounce that. Uh, so we've got multiple texts here, here, and on the back. Oh, sorry, here. Um, now again, we do have um, the number. I'm going on. I'm very erratic. Uh, 00841, which I have no idea what these reference to. Um, as regards to the uh, Slimer and the Stay Puff, I have no idea. I have a slight crease on that one. Uh, but overall, it's very good. So, on this one, same again, we don't have the for and up, as it says on the American version. And on the Eglon, Eglon? Egon figure, now Egon's ghost is called Gulpa. Now the Gulpa coast is not mentioned clearly. For some for some reason it is not mentioned on these versions. I don't know why and also not mentioned on the back. Uh, the variation on the back is that it doesn't have the um, uh, what is it now? Um, it's the uh, it's um, Ghost Zapper, which is that one. We can just see the slight variation. And we don't actually see on the back of these, as you can just see there, the image of them being inserted into the back and how to do it. So there are some quite dramatic variations with these, but it's still a nice piece to have carded as a uh, a throwback, a reminiscent figure of the past as to what it was. Now, detailing, I have to say these are particularly good. Uh, the moulds, and I, I still say this, the moulds are must. Or, I watch YouTubers say that these are likenesses of the originals. Where I come to notice on uh, Slimer that he had the flat part of the chin. Now if these were variations or likenesses of the originals. Quote. It wouldn't have exact um, markings and uh, placements of said flat piece under his chin. Now these, like I say, I mean. You probably can't see on this. Very, oh, we might do actually. Now the logo is apparently slightly bigger, which it may well be. Now, everything's in its place, like the zippers. And I have to say, I agree with what one of the YouTubers said, that they tend to, they look a little bit smoother on the actual figures, the, the new re-releases than they do. Uh, when I say smooth, these tend to be a bit sharper. Like these are from the original mold, so if these have been recast, they're slightly smoother in um, in, 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 in in their looks. Uh, but, like I say, overall, they're a really good likeness. Um, the only difference is, as myself and many others would say, these are 30 odd years old. I mean, the paint scheme, if you look at his head, which has been moulded from a, I would say, a pink... Um, pigment plastic whereas the hand on the other hand is not it's a different shade this has been painted because underneath you can clearly see that there's segments of grey so this is actually the base coat of the uh, of the plastic and this is just painted over this is just a decal <clears throat> sticker that's placed over and so is the arm uh, the armband the, sh the elbow pad Likewise with the boots, um, but as a likeness, it's extremely, extreme. I, I'd say it's virtually the same mold. They've just obviously, with nowadays plastics, you tend to find that they've removed uh, a couple of chemicals which reduces the elements 
uh, inside and it changes the pigment coloration uh, it makes it a little bit more brittle which I found and which I've talked about and I've touched upon in a previous video uh, which I'll put the link below to that video that we've talked about so we have Egon like I said there's no um, ghost zapper here and there's no image on the back depicting which I've just shown you here and I will put in a picture here so you can see close up like I said as you can see it doesn't show but on the American version it does this is obviously a European version they've had to condense down for more space so they can put multiple language text which some people have commented and saying they prefer the American version to the European version if this is the European version I don't care I like it I love what I've got but as a child I still, I still say it now I don't remember the cards being this big it's bigger than my head I don't remember it being so so huge but then again obviously they're going to fit it all on one card but I don't remember it being so big and like I said there's a little bit of paper that's in there what does I say? Action Zapping Ray with Neutrona Blaster and Proton Pack Accessories. It's still nice though, it's just... And the artwork. Now, I will retract what I said in my previous video saying it looks cell shaded. I don't think it does. I think it's just because it's um, a higher definition of photograph. Now, if they've got the original prints of this and they've remastered them, scanned them in HD, uh, along with the logo as well, which has got rid of the circular banding uh, around the image. But I think cause if it's been scanned in HD, it's come out a lot more crisper, so it makes it look a little bit more defined, which some people are saying it looks like it's a cell shaded image. So I personally think it's just a HD version of it. I don't think it's been remastered. So that's just my opinion. Oh, my favourite. Absolute favourite of the bunch is Ray. Now the ghost with Ray, which ghost have we got? It's the twirly tailed one. Hello, where are you? Right. Ray we've got Rapper Ghost. So we've got Rapper Ghost with this one. Obviously the text isn't there for me to uh mention it on camera. Ah uh, but somebody did mention that they've put um supports around these uh, as an extra, you know, for hanging them up to make them a little bit stronger for displays. Um, I have noticed that uh, Slimer and Marshmallow Man don't have them, even though they are bigger and heavier than these. Hmm. We should have thought they would have put them on them, but never mind. Same again, it doesn't uh, include the uh, zapper and the insertion of the proton pack. Uh, but again, it's got the 00811. This comparison to Zuzu 841. So we have a variation in numbers yet again. I'd be interested to see some other YouTubers' uh, comparisons of these numbers, especially on the European versions rather than the American, because obviously it wouldn't correspond as well, because obviously the numbers would be different. Uh, but same again, there's got no uh, far and up, it hasn't got the name of the ghost. Um, but the mould of the figure, which I don't have Ray, unfortunately, uh, but the mould of the figure is absolutely sublime. You fat little porker. Always the favourite. A bit like um, Donatello out of the Turtles. He was the passionate nerdy one. Yes, they all said that Egon was the nerdy one, but no, 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 no. Passionate and nerdy. This is the guy. Like Donatello. He was the passionate and nerdy one. Right. Move on to the next one. Right. Here's the other one that we have. <clears throat> so, the differences between these. Absolutely none. Apart from the shoes, uh, which, again, I didn't touch upon on the Egon one. Now, as I said on the original, you've got the uh, Columbia TriStar 1984 and all that. Uh, month on the back just under the proton pack where on the new ones I don't know if you can see it on here we'll get a, a clear shot somehow I don't know 
if you guys are going to pick that up. No, no, it's not going to pick that up. But on the new ones, on the old ones, obviously, it's just you got the peg holes for the stands, which I've never been able to obtain. Uh, but yeah, uh, the actual details of that code 0851, which is the same printed on the bottom of the shoe, uh, it says uh, made in China and also a property of uh, Columbia or uh, Trice, come look, Columbia Tristar, whichever it is. Um, but again, really nicely moulded. Uh, I have noticed on photographs and from from memory that the figures, the actual uh, ghosts themselves, because these are these this shot here isn't actually a shot of these figures. This shot is a shot, a photograph of the prototypes which were produced for Kenner. Back in 1986. Now we'll come to the next one, which is a very interesting subject on the next figure, which has been touched upon on a couple of YouTube videos. Now I will elaborate on it on a little. But again, uh, nice mold. We'll go back up. Oh, this is talking about Ray. We've already done that one. Uh, but Peter, like I said, Colour differences, obviously you've got 30 years of wear on this one. A uh, bit of sunlight hitting it, but they're not bad. I mean, I know this is in packaging. And I never understood why I got like fluorescent green eyes. I mean, his, his proton one seems to match up with his eyes. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, very good likeness. And the colour of the hands is ever so slightly pinker. And where this one looks a bit more uh, yellow. Or yellowed if you look side by side on that hand uh, again that's obviously with uh, UV light penetrating the lovely figure but yes this is a nice one uh, they all said the same thing I ain't afraid of no ghost um, and the neutrino one there's nothing there's no variation whatsoever the backing cards are exactly the same apart from the, um, the actual images here and here now, Peter's ghost is called Grabber Ghost, um, which, compared to the original, has a slightly askew arm set. I don't know why, whether the mould slipped when they was moulding it, and they just thought, eh, that's all right. Uh, but it's the original one didn't wasn't as prominent. As you can notice in the picture, yes, it does have a slight um, kink in its arms, in this one it seems to be a little bit more prominent and a little bit more lean um, whether that's just me so but yeah very nice um, details on the proton packs as well which I've not really touched upon uh, in comparison with the the TV show um, I would say they're a very close likeness. Obviously, the animated series had a lot less detail than what the films had. So they dumbed it down and they gave it a very basic look uh, with just like two or three items on the proton pack, which simplified it for animation purposes, which we all know is a tough job. Next one. Now, this is the interesting one. Now, when I touched upon the subject of this being the prototype photo now if you look upon the uh, images shown here depicted I will put up a photograph of a close-up but as you can see here you've got them all in their uniform colors which as we all know in the TV show uh, they are slightly different to what's on the figures but we'll let that slide um, now, Winston, on the other hand, now, I don't have the original figure, but I'll put an image here to show you what it actually looked like from a 1986-1987. Here we go. So, as you can see, the original on the left and the re-release on the right. So, as you can see in the piece I've just put up, um, the original 
had a more straight uh, jawline where the um, the new one which is based on or should I say it's a throwback to the actual prototype which has got a slight incline on the chin don't know why this is but it's a nice little touch a nice little nod back to the original um, prototype design um, but yeah uh, 00771 is the number on this one um, so it is uh, that subject was also touched upon that uh, some of the figures are hollow now those two aren't oh what's Winston's ghost called uh, Chomper so this is Chomper and the original release it was a solid molded piece where on this one uh, as you can see is hollowed just there, there you go it's a hollowed Obviously, saves on cost, uh, less plastic, less environment, less damage to the environment. There we go. And also on the original 1986-87 uh, figure variant, there was one major mistake, which they have um, corrected in the 2020 version. Now I'm going to put the image here of the original, so you can see which I'm talking about. Yeah, as you can see, he was called Winston Zedmore. Well, actually, he's called Winston Zedmore, which uh, it, it's a misconception that's been around for many years. Everybody calls Winston Zedmore. No, it's Zedmore. As you can see here, they've corrected the spelling mistake. It's only took them 35 years or so, but never mind. The error has been corrected. But yes, Winston Zedmore, Winston Zedmore. Ah, Kenna, how could you make such a big mistake? So here we got the re-release gang in their full form, HD, um, reprinted uh, boxes, looking vibrant and uh, very colourful in their newest form. And like I said, uh, which we didn't touch upon the images on previous um, chat about this we did um, briefly talk on it but I seem to think that these images are from the originals but obviously it's scanned to a higher definition where obviously back in 1986 the technology was very very limited uh, where they could buy, where they buy, they did uh, multiple passover with the scans to print it. Uh, they didn't have the HD quality or um, imagery of what they could uh, surpass nowadays. I mean, the closer I get, it doesn't dull, it doesn't blur. Um, the detailing on the images is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Hearing my own voice back in a dulcet tone. Uh, but yes, the, <laughs> the images are absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, I don't, looking back at uh, my previous video, I don't actually think these are um, a re-embodiment of the image. I think this is, uh, like I said, it's an HD um enhancement of the actual uh, image like in the comic books where they used to draw them uh, color them in and then scan them well when I say scan they used to copy them uh, using a process like a Xerox process uh, where this is obviously scanned um, obviously if you've got the negative of a photograph it's gonna look better than what it would if it was just a, a photograph that's been interpreted um, like with this um, they didn't um, replicate the image from the first wave back in 1986 they've actually got rid of the actual halo that goes around it as if it was stuck on and uh, blended in with the background but 
I think they've done a cracking job. I really do. And I hope, I really do hope that they do a second wave of these. I really do hope they do because me as a child, um, growing up in the 80s, uh, my parents, well, my parent, my father, he worked as a miner uh, during the miner strike. Money was very, very tight. Uh, so to get hold of some of these uh, figures, uh, even as a full set, which genuinely, I did, did genuinely have a full set of figures, along with Staple, Marshmallow, and some of the other ghouls and ghosts vehicles. Uh, I never actually owned... Um, the big ones such as um, uh, the Firehouse HQ, the Proton Pack, the Trap. Some of the more expensive elaborate sets uh, I didn't own but such as the figures I did. So to actually be able to um, recapture that moment in time I think would be an absolute uh, corker of an idea. Uh, not just for me but like I say for many others. Um, but yeah, I think they're a cracking, um, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely, um, recommend to any Ghostbuster fan, uh, young or old, um, whether you want to display them or when you want to take them out and give them a, a good old beating, uh, actually give them a, what's the word, give them a journey in life, give them a purpose, um, then yeah, I strongly recommend paying uh, the £16 each that they are uh, just to, uh, yeah, to bring those moments back. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's, been a, it's been an emotional um, old couple of videos reminiscing over these beautiful pieces of plastic. Uh, an old polyvinyl eth, eth, or whatever it's called <laughs> polyvinyl something something uh pvc but yeah they're a fantastic uh likeness uh even though when people are saying they are a likeness i would actually say they are a one-to-one -one reproduction and i don't just say it i think it genuinely is uh it's just obviously with the molds they've improved they've detailed them ever so more um than what they were back in 1986 obviously the colors are a bit more vibrant uh, with the reds and the blonde on the hair so yeah uh, i think like i say i mean a second wave of these which such as when i say a second wave uh obviously if you look if you if you refer back to the originals and you look at wave two you had uh, the firehouse, you had the pro. You know, I mean, you get the proto back anyway. Uh, the firehouse, uh, Ecto one, Ecto two, and things like that. I think to just bring those out, end it there, and don't oversaturate it with uh, wave two, wave three, wave four, and rehash the whole series. Because after, uh, I think they did like a, a ghoul series. They did the space series. It's like they did it with turtles as well. They overdid it. So I think after series one and series two, I think if they ended it there, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But that's just my views. Uh, but it's lovely being reminiscing over these figures. Um, and uh, I just need to find a home to display them now. Yeah. Winston, you're not the forgotten one. You're a cracking character. Very sturdy and very robust. So, the future of this channel after this will be back to gaming. Unless any more figures come out, of course. Uh, less of the reminiscing and more of the... Yeah, I don't know what to say on that one. Uh, but from, from me and Peter and Egon... Um, we're going to say uh, adios and uh, please don't forget to click that bell, like and subscribe and please find more content on our channel by checking our backlog of videos. 
Uh, if you want to follow us on other platforms, then please feel free to click below to whichever you may deem worthy. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, they're all there. If that's what you like, then click away. Please don't forget, we're here every week with majority of times, unless I take a sabbatical for whatever reason. Uh, I've always got an excuse for something. So please feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget, as always, love life and keep gaming. Well, collecting, of course. You know, paraphernalia, plastic, and or as uh, it's known as plastic crack.